Hey, Saul Carter here with Others Realty. Wanted to talk today about um, why a bank would even approve a short sale. Because the way a lot of people look at it is, man, I made this loan and the banks have screwed around with me and, you know, they're just taking a huge hit. And truthfully, that's even the same story that I get from the banks. But what it comes down to is the reason that they're going to make or approve a short sale is they're making more money than they would otherwise. And so in a lot of ways, doing a short sale is doing what's right for the bank. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't expect you to, to, you know, lay your head on the pillow with all kinds of warm and fuzzies and think, oh, I'm doing what's right for the bank, because nobody cares, let's be honest. I, in a lot of ways, I don't care what's good for the bank either. The only reason I care what's good for the bank is because I believe that it's what's best for my seller. And uh, that's who my fiduciary responsibility is. Now, over the course of time, I have made the banks an additional huge chunk of money. I've calculated out a couple times. Most recently, it was about $2.4 million that I have gotten banks um, in addition to, like, additional money in excess of what they would have made if they would have had the properties foreclosed on. And, um, you know, grand scheme of things, that's a, like, a little drop in the bucket as far as they're concerned but that is my sellers doing what's right for themselves and doing what's right for the bank and making that happen and um, so anyway the biggest what it really comes down to is banks are in the business of making money and that's why they approve short sales because they're gonna make more money with a short sale than they will with the foreclosure so Anyway, if you're curious about how that really works and you want to see the numbers, feel free to fill out the uh, fill out our getting started form and we can help you get that done. And uh, or call us at one of our local numbers and we will, you know, run you through the scenarios, figure out if short sale is the best thing for you. And uh, if it's not, no big deal. If it is, the best time to start is today, so you can get this huge burden off of your shoulders and move on with your life. So here's doing real estate the other's way. And I'll talk to you soon.